Hello, today I'd like to show you how to create a full body uh, custom avatar for Beat Saber uh, for, uh, for the custom avatars plugin by Nikoko 007 uh, version 5.2 and higher. The plugin has been out for quite a while, but I haven't seen any tutorial on on how to actually create the avatar, so I'll try to to make one. And I'm not really good in doing tutorials, so you will have to bear with me. So anyway, so what you want to do is, you know, what you see now on the screen. And you will need uh, several programs and plugins uh, in order to do that. So first, you will need Unity. If you have, well, if you don't have a license for Unity, you'll have to go to unityfreed.com and, well, get a license. When you get a license and you click through everything, you will need to download the Unity app and install a specific Unity. I use Unity 2019.4.18, which is this one. You can download it here through the download archive or we can Download it through Unity Hub, which I don't have running, which is here. You just go to installs and click add, and then you will actually need to probably go to the download archive. Um, then, you, then you will need Blender. Uh, I use and I will show you a uh, Guest Blender plugin. So you will need a Blender that's compatible with it. So download Blender. Uh, 2.93 and also download the uh, Guest Blender plugin that is compatible with Blender 2.93. You just click on the plugin here and download it. Then you will also need the custom avatars mod if you don't have it already. Well, if you go to the release um, of the, the custom avatars mod, you will also find the Unity project and that you should use with it. So just download it, download the release, download the Unity project, install the mod, and you'll have to unzip the Unity project. And well, uh, you just create. Uh, folder and copy the contents of it there so but we have to go to to blender first so you create a new new project just delete everything and you will import your avatar in my case i will be using a vrm uh, avatar uh, Blender doesn't do that by default, so you will have to uh, install a plugin for that. If you want to install a plugin, you need to go to Edit and then to Preferences. And there you've got Install under Add-ons. So you just click on that, you find your, um, your plugins. So the first one is the Get Blender, Blender plugin, and in my case, the second plugin that I need is VRM add-on for Blender. So we click on install add-on. It will install, it will test and then it should be checked. If it won't be checked, you just check it and it will start working in, in Blender. Then you just import your uh, avatar and then you can press N on your keyboard and go to the Get uh, Blender plugin and click on Fix Model. And then it should look like a model. Uh, if it doesn't, well, mostly the textures can be messed up and you will have to link them manually under shading here uh, in the notes. Um, so here you need to do a few things. Uh, what is uh, good to do is to uh, create atlas of the textures. I've got like, I don't know, 60 materials on this model. So you want to make one file if possible because it will save your work in Unity as well. And it will also make it easier for your computer to work with the, with the avatar. 
Uh, for that, you actually need uh, another plugin, but you can download it directly from from the Guest Blender plugin and install it. After you do that, you can generate material list and save the atlas somewhere. So just don't save it. Um, you will also you might also need to play with uh, with the bones a bit, especially if you're going for uh, full body tracking. Um, what you need to do is uh, have these bones aligned, or rather, these three points, as you see, they should be aligned. Uh, so you can do that. I won't do it uh, precisely, you know, like correctly, because I don't really have the time for it. But you get the idea. You can also. Um, yeah, you know, just apply that uh, clear uh, roll on on the on the bones uh, because sometimes it uh, it kind of mess up your mo model. Um, what you also want that uh, this this shouldn't be a um, direct line. The knee actually needs to be slightly forward uh, in for the IK to to know where to you know like bend the leg. So you just move them forward mm. slightly, not that much. Mm. I think I should. Okay. Well, it doesn't really look like uh, as it should, but you get the idea. Mm. Then you're almost <laughs> ready to export. I mean, you can actually export at this point, uh, but if you want your avatar to hold a saber like this, you will have to create a blend shape for it. So you start uh, the pose mode again and create a fist. Uh, this is something you don't really need to do in Blender if you just use that for beat saber. You can do it in Unity as well. Um, I don't see much because I've got camera here. Um, so I will create something that you can see that I moved with some of the bones. I don't want to spend ages here doing that since uh, this video might actually be pretty long anyway. Um, I'm not the fastest. So let's say this is a fist. Um, you click on post to sh uh, shape key and well name your blend shape somehow so fists and then you export um, okay I will export it as test FBX and it will overwrite my previous test because I started doing this tutorial but I forgot to hit record. So when you have this exported, you can go to Unity Hub and you will have to add the project. Um, well, I added the project 23 minutes ago. Oh man! So you click on Add and you find your your uh, folder with it. So in my case, what I create is tutorial one. Um, so I will select that folder in. It should be uh, running to Unity you just installed. If not, then just change it. Or you can create a project uh, that uh, of the specific build also. So here you should uh, create, uh, move all the files that you need. Um, I usually do it in, in just Total Commander, but you can do it in uh, you can do it in Unity. So here I will create a folder named well, Ren. Ren is my avatar. Well, it's my name, so <laughs> I name it that way. And I will move the model there. I will also create a materials folder and put my texture in there. And if you have, uh, you know, like the thumbnail you can put it there as well and then you'll have to play with the model a bit so uh, 
you will have to change the, the rig to humanoid, otherwise it won't work. And it also means that uh, you already have to, to have, you know, like the humanoid rig. Uh, if you don't have it, it's not going to work. If it will give you some errors, then you'll have to fix them. Uh, it will tell you, you click on the configure and then you find anything that's red and fix it. It can be a bone that's either missing or is misplaced or, or something like that. Or, um, so you fix that and then click on apply and done. Well, this seems to be correct, so I don't need to do anything. Then you will need to extract materials. If you click on materials, click on that, click on on the folder you created, and it will put the texture and the material there. Uh, if you actually exported the texture, I, I didn't. So, and I actually wanted to show you how to do that, but I forgot. Uh, in Blender, when exporting, you can use the path mode here, set it to copy, and leave this blue. It will mean that it will uh, embed the texture or textures that you have there. Mm. And then you don't actually need to physically copy the file. Anyway, then you have to go to body uh, and set uh, set the shader to, to one that Beat Saber actually knows uh, how to process. Uh, in my case, I use uh, only low cutout deterred uh, cut out because I have textures that have transparency there. If you don't have any, then you don't need to use this one. Just you need you can use a different one. You have to put the texture there, and you can also change the base color to to color that uh, you used in Blender or whatever you used to create the model. Uh, Unity defaults to gray, so usually change it to blue. My base color is actually blue, but um, doesn't doesn't matter for the tutorial. I'll just use white. Then you can drag your uh, avatar into the scene, and you have to put it to zero zero zero. Uh, here now we'll work uh, with some game objects. Uh, so you will need to create a parent one that we can name tutorial and then you will need to create a few more so just create a few more and you will have to name them named, name them and it has to be exactly like this now you have to keep the names exactly like i type um, so you need body you need left leg you need right leg, and you also need uh, pillars. And all these actually have to be at zero zero. That's something you should do first. Um, you will need to move these around. So head is uh, where your headset is. Uh, so. You place it more or less somewhere between your eyes. Ta da! Okay. Left hand is uh, this hand. Don't mess it up because uh, I've got many people actually telling me that their avatar has crossed arms, uh, and it's because of this. Uh, well, here. Uh, you will also need to change the rotation of uh, of this. Uh, I use, in this case, it's something around minus 70. And since I didn't say this in the previous tutorial, I will say it now here because it's one of those questions people ask me often. Well, the thing is, I use this uh, mm, rotation setting because I hold um, Oh, it's my left hand, okay, whatever. Uh, okay, I hope you can see it. I use this as my grip for, for Beat Saber. So you can see that uh, the axis goes through my wrist here. And I also hold my index controller like this. Okay, can you see it? 
Okay, do you see that? Okay, so it's pretty much the the same thing actually because uh, the axis goes in in the same way. It goes like this too. Uh, and that's those minus 70. It means that in game when I will hold the controller like this, it will yeah, like the hand will be straight. Uh, if you have different grip than me, then you'll have to find what works for you. That's uh, well, that's it. Um, also, you will have to move uh, the object in front of the hand if you want your avatar to hold the the saber in the middle of the the handle. So just move it forward, and this should do. It's actually a bit too much for this avatar. Uh, and I should have, uh, yeah, noted one thing. Uh, I usually create avatars uh, of the of my actually height, but if you have an avatar that is not your your height, then you have to actually set it uh, to it. Uh, you can do it by creating. Uh, a 3D object like a cube and set it to your height. So, for example, like this. And if you're if you've got one meter and sixty, uh, and then change the scale of the avatar so it's as tall as that. Um, and do that before you actually start placing these. Um, okay. Anyway, back to our hands. You can copy the components and paste the values into the right hand because they are actually at the same place but on the other side. Uh, so you just delete that minus uh, here and here. Body should be at zero zero zero. Left leg that is um, that might take a little while for me to find uh, because um, well you have you should place it where you wear your. Uh, how you wear your tracker and uh, the set you know like it should go where's my tracker okay I will uh, okay I should have tried a different one ah. the set is this um, so I have it placed on my foot so it should go up and uh, why I should go uh, forward. Mm. So I have to rotate this somehow. So it goes there. <laughs> and I never know what's correct. Oh, this actually seems correct. So this is uh, how my tracker more or less is placed. Okay. Um, so that's correct for me, and it does not need to be correct for you. Uh, but I can use that as a guideline. Um, okay, so you can copy this again. You can copy the values and paste them. Okay, at least something I didn't mess up. And move it to the right side. And then all you need is to place your pelvis. I wear the tracker on here, but I'm pretty fat, so it's actually somewhere around here. Um, so just place the tracker where where it is um, placed on your body. So then you can drag your uh, avatar into the tutorial game object and. You will need to create targets for all these uh, uh, objects. So the first one is pelvis. Uh, you'll drag the the game object you created and name it pelvis target. You'll do this for the rest. So we've got left leg. Again, the names has to be exact. So. You need those capital letters, no spaces, and stuff. Okay, right leg.
Okay, well, right arm. Well, if you don't need avatar uh, with full body tracking and you just need, you know, like your right hand, left hand, and head, then you don't actually need to create uh, the left leg, right leg, pelvis, and pelvis target. You still need body. And the last one is left hand. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. Okay. So... Okay, now you have the targets at correct places. You can check it if it's correct or not. It seems to actually be correct. And you're almost done. Okay, so now you find the parent of your avatar of the model itself. And you create, you add a VR IK manager or something like that. Which is. Not here for some reason. Okay, well, in that case, there are two libraries that you need from Beat Saber. Uh, and that's Final IK and. Dynanipo. But it should be part of the custom, custom avatar. Uh, library. So it's a VR IK manager. That's what you add, and it should be populated already here. And here, if you want a full body. Uh, Avatar, then you will uncheck the plant feet so you can lift your legs and jump and stuff. Uh, if not, then you just keep it uh, checked and you will move all the targets here. Um, so, left hand, right hand, you've got left leg, you've got right leg. And you can also change the mm, values um, because uh, these things are really, really sensitive, or at least it seems to me. And I'm not really that great in dancing and stuff. So I changed uh, the values, the weight here, the position and weight, rotation weight. Um, so it doesn't move my avatar that much. Mm. So you can lower those values. Well, it's as especially for pelvis that it's often problematic. Not entirely sure where it is though. Uh, okay, I don't see it. Um, mm -mm. Should be on spine somewhere. Yeah, it's okay. Here. So now I'm, I'm happy. Um, I've got almost everything I wanted. Uh, like. Uh, if you want, you can add uh, dynamic bones uh, also, which is all the library that I just copied. Um, you can add dynamic bone. In my case, I can. I've got bones in in hair here. Uh, so if you want that to move, you can use that dynamic bones for that. So it's this hair joint that. Uh, you need to put in the in the script, so you just drag it there, and then you set some values. So you 
that you like. Uh, for me, it's something like this. It works. Sometimes you're able to actually see that uh, if you if you just move the avatar, then okay. Then you should be able to see the hair moving. The thing is that uh, it will move differently in Beat Saber, so you'll have to run the game and see what it does. Okay, anyway, um, one of the last things you have to do is to add Avatar Descriptor. Uh, well, neat, that will show you where the savers will be. Uh, you will name it. So, for me, it's Ren Tutorial. You can write your name there. And you can click whether you want uh, automatic calibration or not. Uh, I've never used that before. Uh, the calibration that's the game works just fine for me, uh, so I'm not really sure how well it works. If you want cover uh, for uh, for the avatar, then you have to create uh, create it. Um, well, I can do it from a print screen and. Oh, okay, just Yeah, just put it uh, in the in the materials folder. It will show up. You'll have to set it to to sprite, set to the sprite, and you can set the quality. Uh, this is something you can do also for uh, for the texture. I usually use 4K, um, normal or high quality, depending on what game it is. In Beat Saber, I don't usually use higher quality because you don't actually see it uh, see the difference usually um, and then you have to pick the file you just created and it will show up in the game Ta-da! voila that's it so now you can export the avatar so if you don't see the window with the exporter you, <laughs> you have to Open it if you go to window, find avatar exporter, and export. And it will export the uh, avatar somewhere. Okay, so let's go to Beat Saber. It's taking. I'm taking ages to do this. Mm. Okay, so my Beat Saber is here. Well, there are custom avatars. You just copy your avatar there. And I thought that I actually exported it here. Okay. If you don't have the custom avatars installed, you can install it uh, through Mud Assistant, as far as I know, maybe. Because it did not used to be there for like ages, but it's here. So you just click that and install. And that it should install everything you need. You copy your avatar and run the game, and then you'll have to calibrate. But I think you can figure that out on your own. So that's it. The, there will be a tutorial in written form. I uh, already wrote uh, one for the custom avatars for. It's similar, a bit longer, um, but it's still applicable. Uh, I mean, it's the same thing. Um, I'll try to update it and 
uh, at uh, version 5 there as well. So thanks for watching and I hope that uh, your avatar will work and that you'll be able to dance and do awesome stuff. I'm not that good at that. <laughs> bye bye.